So it's come to our attention that some folks may or may not be able to run the circuit software we've been using in the labs for CS201. Uh, the software is called Logisim, and it's a great little chunk of software. It's open source and it has been forked a few times, but if you can't get it to run because it needs Java, um, there is an online fork called Circuitverse. And it's a little different, and there are a few little tweaks that you have to do in order to be able to save a file and submit it as an assignment. And so I'm just going to walk through that right now. First thing is you have to have an account on circuitverse.org, and then you have an account. And in that account, um, you'll be able to create as many files as you want. And as we'll see, there are tricks that you can use to actually submit them. The problem with Circuitverse is that there is no file format. You can't download a circuit file and give it to somebody else. You can share circuit files, but there is a trick that we'll see. So here's a bunch of circuits I've been playing around with. I'm going to uh, either you could either click on a circuit that you've been building already, or you could make a new one yourself. So I'm going to make a new circuit under, and I just click on the simulator, and it takes me to a brand new circuit. Um, now, I could do that, whatever. Uh, I'll, this is a brand new circuit, and I'm going to just drop some things down and build something temporary just so we can play around with it. As you can see, you know, the inputs and the outputs look similar. And in fact, the, the interface is a little better in some cases. Um, but I'll just show you what I would like you to do in order to make a file and then submit it. So we'll just put a gate down and we'll put some inputs down and we'll do some stuff to it and whatever happens, happens. Uh, there's some quirks to it as uh, the underlying engine is the same. And so the quirks are sort of the same, but you get the idea, right? We can make a gate and we can put some input down and let's see what happens if we say one ended with zero should give us zero and one ended with one should give us one and hey, lo and behold, that works. Now I want to prepare this for submission as a, an assignment or a lab assignment. So a few things I have to do. First, I have to save it. So under project, I'll save online and then I'll give it a project name, whatever you want. I would probably use the assignment name um, convention just so then we can see what it is. Uh, assignment three and then my student number two. Oh, this is not my student number. It's just a placeholder, but that's okay. And if you don't want to use your student number, not the end of the world. Now, when you save it online, it's going to give you options for tags and your access type. You could make it private if you wanted to. That'll make it a bit tricky for the TA to look at it. Probably easiest to make it public. Um, you could make it limited access and share it with the TA, but again, you'd have to know their account and these things are a little complicated. So simplest probably just to leave it public. Um, and then that's your project. So now we have a project website, which has the name of the project, the author, when I made it, all this kind of stuff about it. And I can add a collaborator, which if we, you know, figure out a way to add the TA as a collaborator, then they can look at your project, but we'll leave it for now as public. And then I can actually take a uh, look at the URL for that project and it has my username, uh, my user ID number, and then the project name. And this is a unique URL that will take you to this file. So what you can do is you can share that URL with anybody and they can see the project. So this is how we're going to do these submissions is I'm going to take this URL, I'm going to copy it and paste it into UR courses. And that's my submission. Now, it's an online file. I could submit this, I could send the URL, and then I could go in and mess around with it once I've learned what the answer is. We don't want you doing that. So instead, what you're going to do to prepare the file for submission is you're going to do two things. You're going to annotate it. First of all, we're going to put uh, some text on it, and it's going to be my name, and it's going to be the assignment, and it's going to be the course, uh, university, oops, university of Regina uh, and it's going to be the date September uh, 32nd 2028 whatever uh, and then I think that should be enough uh, the date your name all the information that identifies it as your submission right and then we're going to take a screenshot. Now, this is going to lock the file in and say, this is the file I'm submitting so that you can't change the screenshot, right? So you're going to do this under tools, download image, and it's going to give you a bunch of options. We're going to use the full circuit view or the current view. Uh, full circuit view might not be a bad idea. Current view is just the view of the website, depending on what you want. If it's a big circuit, uh, whatever, we'll try full circuit view and see what that looks like. Um, and then save it as a PNG. 
it'll give you a file and that file, yeah, if you use current circuit view, it'll just clip it to the size that you want. Um, and I could share that with, uh, yeah, I'll, what you'll end up seeing, I don't know that you can see it on the uh, screen, yeah, but you end up with a, just an image of that file. Then uh, under project, um, you can, uh, well, you can save the project with the URL as you did before, and then copy that URL and submit that as part of your UR courses assignment. Uh, the other thing that I would suggest you do is there's a save offline option, as you can see. And what that does is it saves a copy of the thing in your browser's local storage. Doesn't save a file, can't submit the file, but it does submit it in the local storage in case anything weird happens. Um, and so what happens then is you take the take a copy of this and here would be my suggestion is to take and make a um, an incognito window so you don't you lose your session information or a different browser whatever you want um, and then I can't show it to you but basically what would happen is uh, you paste the URL into the uh, incognito version and you would check and see if it looks right if it works properly that way you know that the marker can see and test your circuit they get a copy of what the circuit looks like in the image uh, and everything should function the way it's supposed to function so I hope that this works out as one possible way uh, to use circuitverse to submit assignments and lab assignments and we'll see how this goes as the semester progresses